Hello everyone and welcome to weekly vlog 42. If you've been with us for the whole 42 weeks, you deserve a medal, so thank you very, very much. If you're new to the channel, we put out weekly vlogs that aren't very good, but are solely intended to try and make you laugh in this rubbish time. Logan is playing with kinetic sand, which goes right through me and I can't stick it. Ethan's upstairs on the Xbox and Lorraine's just having a cup of tea. Monitoring Logan from a distance. <laughs> no, but it's on boom. Boom. Don't throw your sand. Oh, God. As I said last week, I'm going to film this whole week on the GoPro Hero 9 Black that we have because usually it's just sat in a box I and mean, it doesn't get used. We took it Disneyland Paris in the vlogs that are on YouTube for that trip. But generally day to day we use our Canon G7X Mark II. Um, so this is literally doing me headed. It keeps flickering when I'm looking at the telly. I think I've sorted it slightly with the frame rate. But there's a whole lot of stuff about cameras I do not understand. So that is going to be my task this week. Learning how to make cameras make you look better. I know there's an element of dieting, sun tanning and going to the gym to make me look better but surely cameras can do a bit of that for me as well. One thing that is a massive difference between this GoPro and the Canon is that the Canon literally out the box is ready to go whereas the GoPro from memory never ever has been. It's great for outdoor shooting and I'll maintain it's the best outdoors camera for action but when you're stood inside a house it's so faffy to try and get the light right and the settings. So if anyone's a GoPro What's the word I'm looking for? Expert. If anyone out there is a GoPro expert, please email me slash message me or whatever. I've just stood on a dog. And let me know what I'm doing wrong. I've just stood on Logan's robot dog. See now, I don't know whether you can see it, but there's like this flicker in here from that. And the telly's giving, giving me grief as well. Help! Wow. Logan's got himself some new shoes. Check them out, Logue. Show us. No. He's not really in the mood for showing stuff off, is he, today? Do you want me to take it off? No. Hmm. It's a lucky new trainers, Logue's. Gone. Doesn't miss. What's he got, Lorraine? Because he's not showing us. Um. Oh, use the label. Cute, them little nexties. Yeah. They were twenty three pounds, and in the Boxing Day sale, they were ten quid. Nice. So. Good work. And they only just come, but that's fine. So we're in any rush. Tell you what, I will do because this looks terrible on the screen that I'm looking at. Um, read up on how you change frame rates and stuff to not have that flickering. Lads have got the dinner, fish and chips for Logs. He's eating the peas. Swallow it, son. What are you on, Eads? Lasagna. Yeah. What are you making us, Lorraine, dear? Uh, well, I've already... Just catch you doing the finances I've there, didn't I? The yeah. We've got more going out than money. we've got coming in. Remember I've that? Well, just go. I'll tell you what, let's keep talking over each other. Yeah. Do you, what was that an advert? Oh. Um, it was an advert. Something to do with It was like a... Debt. Loan thing, thing or something on it. Yeah. Stop. We've got more going out than we've got coming in. So we've made a um, pasta, a pasta dish with the sauce. It's a ready-made one with tuna and cheese on top. Tuna because, pasta bake, you might say. Yeah. It just sounded a bit like Rick Stein telling us what that was. <laughs> it's basically a tuna pasta bake. Yeah. Nice. Try and to warming. Jazz it up a bit. <laughs> jazz you up a bit. Just watching United v Liverpool, it's still nil-nil for those that are interested and by the time this goes out next week you'll know full well if you are interested what the score was. If you're not interested you won't be bothered what the score is! What are you doing? So we're gonna use, we're gonna use a um, fart toy on that. Well me and Logan will be outside in the hallway and Mum will be in, in the living room and then Mum will say when we make the fart toy thing sound. Mm. Well, sorry. And then mum will say... That oh, stinks. Patrick, that stinks, yeah. Oh, mean, mean boys. Look at you with your safety glasses on. 
work, Mum. From I office got environment. This gun. I you get... know why the fart goes in? It's like, come on, me. It's 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 I'll just cough. Oh, you found it. Eh, hey, was that you? <laughs> no. Eric! 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 <laughs> 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 Watch your face, watch his face! Not in the face! <laughs> Do you surrender? Oh, I never got myself into a battle! Yes, I give in! Okay, okay, go like this then! Go like this! Hands up. And then you'll stop shooting. No, you have to stand up, Dad. No, he's going to shoot me in the penis. No, we're not. We're going to shoot you in the belly. You're a mad professor. We're going to shoot you in the belly, Jill. I give in. I'll shoot you in the belly, then. Dad, go like that. I don't want to. Do it, Dad. You're going to take it to the wall. Well, you have to belly, isn't it? We're not. We're not, okay? Leg. Hurry up, I don't want to get shot! Stop it! Hi, it's Monday. Me and Ethan have been home learning this morning. Uh, been and picked up our click and collect from Asda. So we've got our shopping for the week. And uh, Logan's home now because it's just gone half three. And Paddy's come home because he's not feeling too great. So we're in the playroom with the invalid. It's a bit harsh. <laughs> the poorly, yeah. poorly husband. Yeah. I feel fine. I'm Do you? Fine. No, you don't. I've got a cough, a bit of a cough, a sore throat and a headache. Uh, but the cough is so yeah. frustrating because it just comes, you know, makes me, I want to feel, I feel like I've got something on my chest, but I haven't. Yes. Um, and then I keep getting out of breath. And it's Not very rattling good. in my chest. Hmm. So I've ordered a kit, a swab thing, so I can't wait to shove that up my own. Mm. You've just been reading about what you have to do, haven't you? Um, yeah, so, yeah. So now we're all at home. Self-isolating. I haven't even broke it to this one yet. It'll be made up though, we'll get to stay at home. Doing this all day. Well, you'll sit in here with him, I'm afraid. You're gonna have to, because I'll be in there with Ethan home learning and working. I mean, I feel fine to go back and go to preschool. <laughs> That's the easier option. It is, but it's not the correct option. Mm. So whilst I get the fish fingers out of the box and put them in the freezer, easy tea. Um, I'm watching a little bit of Bridgerton on the iPad. Can't get enough of this. Every time um, I finish an episode, I want to watch the next one. But this morning, because I've been on the bike, so last week I was on the bike four days out of the seven, so I was quite impressed with myself. So I'm going to try and do the same again this week, and maybe even more. And um, this morning when I was on the bike, because I was watching Bridgerton at the same time, I hadn't even noticed I'd done 20 minutes in like no time. So good for that right so that's something i never ever want to do again um there's my little vial of cotton bud that i've just shoved in my mouth and up my nose the funny thing about that that wasn't funny was the first side first tonsil um it's fine but then i retched and then i'm trying to put it in my second side the other side of my tonsils and my tongue just wasn't having it. It was like, it was like, no, because you've just nearly been sick doing it that way, so I'm not gonna let you do it this time. But I control my tongue, so why didn't it just get out of the way like it did the first time? It was having none of it. And then I had to shove the cotton bud up my nose <coughs> for two, uh, two and a half centimeters until I felt resistance. That's grim, that. Right, Lorraine's gonna go and post it for me now. Morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, Tuesday. God. It's been a long week already, ramming cotton buds up my nostrils and in my throat. Lorraine's just made me a nice cup of tea. You want to say good morning, Lorraine? Good morning. Feels a bit disjointed, this vlog. Oh, it's um, been a big week already. <laughs> and only three days into it. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the apartment we stayed in in Paris last time we went and how much it will cost to go in May for three nights. Mm. Fingers crossed, we get to go in May for three nights. We'll see, the park's shut till April and we're just having a mooch now at prices, see what we can get. I feel dead tired and lethargic, but Logan's got a bit of a cough, hasn't he? So I don't know whether what I've got here is just a bit of, um, not man flu, but 
cough because he had a bit of a runny nose. I have been short of breath of a night, it's been quite wheezy on it. Um, but I don't seem to be coughing as much now. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Hopefully get my results back in a few days and then get back to work. I'm just in limbo now and it's obviously everyone's over cautious because of I might have COVID and I could pass it on. But it's frustrating because well, hopefully I haven't got it and I could just be in work now. So yeah, we're looking at Disneyland Paris just to cheer us up. We're not going to book anything because that would be pointless, I think, anyway. Wow, well, with this one... Did you get free cancellation? This Airbnb get free cancellation. Oh, we may as well cancel it and give us a fake cheer up. Okay. Book, what did I say? Cancel it. I'm tired. <coughs> I am still coughing a bit. No news on the camper van yet. Um, hopefully should hear something about that soon because that would be nice to cheer us up, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. I've just heard a lot of people waiting months and months for it but then a couple of people have had it sooner than they thought they were going to get it so we'll just take it when when, when it gets here because that's literally all we can do and apart from that nothing planned today Ethan's got homeschool me and Logan will keep each other company in the playroom or watching the telly <clears throat> um, and that's it see you tonight I suppose Lorraine's knocking up a grilled cheese sandwich looking good Lorraine like it Happy? Yeah. Happy? Mm -hmm. Happy. Everyone's happy. Very, Lorraine, you should take over this vlog because I'm very lethargic at the best of times, to be honest. Not just because I'm not well. I'm usually quite um, relaxed. I've decided this afternoon Logan's either going to be famous for sporting reasons or they're going to make a Netflix documentary on him. He started when I wasn't shouting at him, but he was having a poo in the downstairs toilet and he was taking forever. And I just said, Logan, hurry up, stop messing about. Hurry up. Okay, sir? <laughs> I don't know where he's got that from. But he's just started doing that now. Every time I speak, okay, sir? It's just a bit cheeky and doing me, ever, especially today. Oh, good, here he is. Pushing me in the back. So, the good news is. I've not got coronavirus. Hooray. Test came back in hours, pretty much. Mm, it was quite good. Which was very impressive. Um, yeah, still got this cough. And the more I speak, the more I want to cough. It's weird. Um, very tidy, had a sleep today. So I think I've just got... Logan's been coughing a bit and a bit of a cold. So I think I've just got that, really. So back to work tomorrow. <coughs> back to preschool for Logan. Hmm. Hello. Hi. It's Wednesday. It's lunchtime. And Ethan's having beans on toast. Ta -da! Salad for me. Mm. Boring, I know, but um, something's got to give. Miserable rainy day today, so I'm not looking forward to the school run later when I've got to go and pick up Logan from preschool. Evening, everyone. It is Wednesday night. Quarter past five. Just sat down to have my tea with the fam. Logan seems to be fingering mayonnaise. Oh, what happened now? <laughs> What are we on the road? <coughs> um, a fish cake. It's called katsu. Oh, it's like the body fish body. cake. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like got coconut. Boom! Oh. Coconut in it and stuff. Not, don't really know. It's like All right, let's go and try it then. Sorry, everyone. We're going to go now. Bye. Evening, everyone. It is Thursday night, 20 to 6. That sizzling is Lorraine cooking our. What are we having? Sweet chilli corn chicken noodles? Yeah, exactly that. Um, the kids are in the playroom having a fight, rowing over something. I wasn't really listening. And the news is on. <laughs> so there, you are well up to date with our Thursday. I've just come in from doing 20 minutes on the bike and now I'm tired, obviously. I'm feeling loads better. Still got a bit of a niggling cough, which is doing me head in. But at least I'm alright. We have been watching ballers, haven't we? Yeah. I'm out of breath still, sorry. Um, on Sky One, Sky Comedy, not sure. But Ballers, if you've not watched it, is The Rock, which is why Lorraine likes it, um, and a load of attractive American football type people. There's actually zero in it for me, is there? It's, it's got like storyline and stuff though. Yeah, it is. It's very funny as well. Um, uh, it is funny, very funny. It's not for children. Lots of effing and jeffing. Lots of effing in the <laughs> Lorraine, I love it. I don't want to say I highly recommend it because I don't want to upset little Jimmy. 
Um, but <laughs> I oh. think you should go and watch it. It's very, very good. Um, aside from that, nothing happening tonight. Nothing. Nothing. Um, so we will speak to you later, if not, in the morning, if Lorraine picks up the camera. I know, sorry. It's Friday, I probably will pick it up. I'm excited that it's the weekend. Remember when you used to call it Friday? Friday! Ooh, mustn't forget, the bins go out tomorrow. Exciting. Hi, it's Friday and it's the afternoon. Just made a nice cup of coffee because we picked Logan up. He is quite happy there eating his little snack, although he doesn't look too happy, but he is happy. It's because I'm talking and he wants to watch this movie. So we've put on Nanny McPhee and Ethan's just playing on his Xbox upstairs while we chill out and have a little relax, eh? Yeah? yeah. This Nanny McPhee isn't the Nanny McPhee I thought we were going to watch. It's Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang. I think it's the second one. Although Maggie Smith's in it, I love Maggie Smith. She's just Mommy, amazing. I want your phone. You want my phone? Yeah. Huh. It's been a bit of a quiet week this week. Not really much has happened, probably for a lot of people. We have been doing a bit of research for when we want to go away this year, eventually, when we do. I think the first place we'll be going to, fingers crossed, will be in May to Disneyland. We haven't booked anything yet. We probably won't book anything just yet, but that's what we're hoping to do. But one thing we are looking at is places in the UK. So when we do get the camper van, and other than the European trip that we're hoping to do in the summer, we're looking at places in the UK as well. I want more. You want more hula hoops? Yeah. What a surprise. Look at you there, all cosy. Oh, nope, he's gone. Can't see you. Can't see you. So my colleague in work mentioned to me today there is a place in Anglesey, I'm going to read the name of it, it's called Penmon Point and in June and July time there is some bioluminescent plankton that comes towards the shore and you can see it all lit up in the sea, it looks amazing. So we're hoping to add that to our bucket list because it looks really cool. So there you go, there's a picture of it, how cool does that look? So bioluminescent plankton found on Penmon Point in Anglesey. It looks cool. And apparently camper vans and caravans park along here and camp for the night. Um, so you can, well, I don't know whether they're right close to the, the lighthouse or a bit further back, but you can then overlook all of that. Oh my God, it just looks so cool. Hello everyone, great news. I've just come home from work and we're camping out tonight again. Downstairs as a sleepover. Very excited about that. Thanks. That... <laughs> Friday night drinks with the um with the lads. This lot. Not the best there. company, I'm honest. I bet you're there fuming. I bet you well used to get off at three o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> now that it's up gone six. No overtime. <laughs> Here we are, Friday night, pizza movie night. I've still not done the cupboard doors. Don't inbox me, hon. I'm not interested. Logan's dancing around. Oh, Steve Martin. He's not an old man. He's eternally ageless. Is he, is he still alive? <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Is that hot? Alexa, turn the heating off. So, cheaper by the dozen. Camper van. Looks like a 1972 bay. I'm no expert at these things. Here we go. I've just realised the dozen bit, they've got 12 kids. Nah, mate. No way, Pedro. 12. I have nice mm -hmm. Okay, well done. <clears throat> no, I am not lying, Ethan. I've just told Ethan that Mummy was in a band. Oh, Lorraine to everyone else. Bit weird when I say Mummy. Um, and the, Lorraine was, we were in bed last night and I felt something on Lorraine's back. And it was, um, it's basically a tiny, tiny piece of dry skin, but Lorraine described it as fat dry skin. So I said, is, was that the name of your emo band when you were a kid? And then in bed last night, we decided to do a little album list and a load of songs with quirky, of its time, teenage emo band names, like Shallow, Common Room, Locked Locker in the Vacant Hall, and weird things like that. And then I said, oh, and in one of your videos, Lorraine, you could be driving through a city in a limousine, obviously, with your head out the roof and your bandmates, squirting silly string at people all crazy. 
And then, in Cheaper by the Dozen, it's been squirted with silly string, which actually looks like Chinese noodles. <laughs> Remember, so Mummy, the band that Mummy was in, Ethan, was called Fat Dry Skin. Honestly, Google them. And if you don't believe me, they had some absolute bangers, such as, what was it? <laughs> Fat Dry Skin. <laughs> I've just remembered what I said last night. <laughs> Given that it was dry skin um, and the band was fat dry skin, one of the uh, lead LPs was I Need Cream um, for the dry skin. <laughs> Does anyone else when they get into bed um, just turn into a little child? I do. I start pinching and grabbing and putting like my cold feet on Lorraine's back and doing her head in and stuff. It'd be good to know if, if it's just me that's Weena. A weena? <laughs> I know you are. Excuse me while I go and discipline my eight year old. Do you just call me a weena? Yeah. You <laughs> bum sniffer. Weena! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. So you'll tell me if I type in fat dry skin right fat, now. Yeah, I do it. Fat dry skin. Okay. If I bring up some weird things. Who else is there, Ethan? Read them out some. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> There's Flaky Skin. Flaky Skin, was he in the band? Was he on drums? So, production of the Sleepover Arena is in full flow. Oh, I forgot. Just finished watching Cheaper by the Dozen. It was actually a really nice film, wasn't it, love? Yeah, little tingle Oh. No, Logan, we had this last week. You don't jump on an airbed, son. What have you got, Lorraine? Popcorn in our Universal Islands of Adventure. We got sweets. What's the other bad boy? Got sweets. A nice little mini Disneyland Paris one. Sweets. Yeah, we got them that popcorn. Good morning. It's Saturday and it's a snowy Saturday. As you can tell, we got rid of the bed as soon as we could this morning. Paddy is not happy. We did not sleep great. I pay good money to live here. Why would I sleep on the floor? Why would I choose to sleep on the floor? I'm not doing it again. Morning. Morning. Did you have fun? Uh-huh. Are you tired? Still, yes. Still tired? No one! You slept really well. Yeah, really well. Mum said I was talking through the night saying I was going to sleep a lot. You kind of, you pulled your, you pulled... I don't know what that seat says, but I don't think I do. So. You pulled your cover off. You took it completely off. And then you went, I'm cold. <laughs> Like, why did you take your cover off? I wanted. You didn't even know you did it, did you? <laughs> What's happening? Um, it's snowing outside. I know. Yep, it's a World Cup sky. It's oh cold. wow, it's really white out there, isn't I it? Know. That sky. It's Christmas Day. Oh, it's not, love. This is what it should have done on Christmas Day. Um. <laughs> I've got questions to ask. Okay, what's I've the I've been wanting to know this for like a few years now. How does rain and snow and hail and a lot of stuff come from the sky? It's precipitation. Space. <laughs> We're best showing it, yeah, I think. So water in lakes and rivers gets sucked off. Oh. <laughs> evaporates, not evaporates, goes up to the sky and it goes in a big cycle. That's basically it. Yeah. We'll have a Google of it later if you want, stick some on YouTube, I'm sure there'll be something. I still don't know what it means. I want this on the eight. So we've just had a shower, we're all nice and clean. Boys are in the playroom having some strawberries and pancake and we're just having a cup of tea. I'm having a coffee, some custard cream, which kind of fell into Paddy's basket last night when he went to Going straight in my basket. Mm. And what are we watching now? I don't know. Um, not the cricket. You can put it on if you want, no, I don't fine. mind. Fast Girls? Fast Girls, what's that? I thought I'd gone to the wrong section. I thought I'd gone oh. to the 900 numbers. What's well, on BBC Two? 
It's a drama film. When streetwise Shania meets ambitious middle-class Lisa, the two worlds collide on the athletics track with explosive results. It's still snowing, but it ain't sticking. Looking forward to my grilled cheese sandwich. Yummy. So, as many of you will know, we should be going to Florida in... May? May. I should really check these things before I start filming myself, really. So, yeah, we should be going to Florida in May. So, I just thought I'd have a quick YouTube of um, coronavirus in Florida and see how it was getting on. One of the videos that shook me was probably one of the videos that will make me think, yeah, I'll give the world a wide berth for a while. And... I don't think I need to say anything. It's basically a man who's cut a hole in his mask in protest. <laughs> well, that's enough internet for today. Oh, Jesus, tonight and tomorrow. What on earth has happened here? Didn't say, sorry. Okay. Tell you what, Logan, that looks a nice dinner there, son. I didn't get offered any of that. Jeez. My mummy made that for me. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Who's, who's a favourite? We're on the cheese toasties and you're on the continental platter. The best up me rent. So I've mentioned before I'm going to be a brand ambassador for Bell & Bow Accessories. I have got a 10% off your first order code. So if anybody wants to any order anything from her new shop that's opening on the 29th of January, you can use my code. It is Lorraine First One Zero. Um, and it'll get you 10% off your first order, which is fantastic. She's got some amazing items coming on. Um, if you go onto her Insta page, which is Bell and Bow Accessories, then it'll give you some real good insight as to what she's got coming on. And it'll also link you to her website uh, where you can have a look at purchasing things. Right, so I'm just ordering a frame, finally, for our print that we got in Disneyland Paris in October that I've just still not managed to get a frame for. However, the one we've got in here is the same size. So I'm gonna look back on my Amazon orders for when I ordered that, and I'm gonna order another one. What we most certainly haven't forgotten about is this most gorgeous artwork that was sent to us, well, it was sent to Paddy for his birthday from Jenna and Kyle from Our Florida Adventures. So we need to get a frame for that. So that is my mission now, now that I've managed to order one that size. I need to now find one for this size so we can get that up as well. So we're just going to get in the hot tub, boys are already in, and then when we get out we're having a curry, warm us up. So we've just sat down to have our Saturday night meal, and you know Saturday means the end of our weekly vlog. That's just how it is, don't be sad, tune in next week. I'm very hot, so we're having a curry. Who dreams these ideas up? Wait, are we ending it? We are ending it Ethan, thanks for joining the room. Oh yeah, I got. Like and scries. Like and scries. Don't hit. Right, let's let Logan get back to his Bye. food. Bye. Bye. So, thank you all for watching. We hope you've had a lovely week. And please do like and subscribe. It would mean an awful lot. And once we get to a big number, we can start doing a giveaway or something to bump up the numbers. That would be good. That is what all the cool kids do. <laughs> bye. bye. You going to say bye? Bye. Bye.